Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm down. Hello everybody, it's Philly Cuts from Onu Retro Gaming Cuts, and I'm going to do a dual unboxing today. Today I have Assassin's Creed Revelations and Darkness 2, and welcome, this is Count Sudoku, my new cutting knife. I got both of these games on sale. I got them both collectively for under $25. I got Assassin's Creed Revelation for 10 bucks at Best Buy. How do you say I got it for 10 bucks? Well, it was on sale for 30 and then you could get another $20 off with this Best Buy coupon. Now, you have to be a Reward Zone member for it to work. Now, this is good until the 2nd of June. So, there's a few more days that you can get it. And I got the Darkness 2 also from Best Buy. Now, this game came out in February, just three months ago, for $12. It was on sale today. I think by the time I do this unboxing, though, that sale price is going to end. It was like a one-day sale price thing. So, I got that for $12. Bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. If you want to, head on over to my other channel, Philly Cuts Production. I just put a blog out. Sta you know, stating my case that it really makes no sense to buy games at launch anymore, or brand brand new for that matter, because if you wait just a little bit, you can get incredible deals, like I did right here. These are both, you know, pretty, pretty good games by reputable studios, Ubisoft and 2K Games, and, you know, I'm happy I got these games. All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch the tiger by the toe, if he hollers, let him go. Alright, so Darkness 2 will be the first. Darkness 2, great game. I played the first one. Mike Patton is the voice of the monster. If you don't know who Mike Patton is, you've had to have heard of Faith No More, maybe Mr. Bungle, Tom Hawk, Peeping Tom, countless other bands. The guy is amazing. He's experimental. Loves to make different kinds of sounds with his voice. He's great. I love him. Alright. Let's operate. First one, I'm going to open it up here first in case there's any. Yep, they always put the passcode right on top. Here it is, Darkness. I'm entitled to a free download and exclusive digital content. Two unique characters' ability, Gourmet Heart and Relic Hunter, alternate Darkwing outfit. Okay, well, not really that great of a deal. And I got a comic. And if I go to comicsology.com, I get a free digital comic. So maybe I'll do that as a giveaway or something for someone. And let's see. Here's the Darkness 2 booklet. Not really that big, but it is in color, which is a rarity nowadays with games. I suppose eventually they're just going to go to all digital instructions for games. So there's that. There's a... Advertisement for Special Ops Line. And it looks like you get a Darkness 2 poster. Yep, it actually has two different posters on each side. So there's Tommy. He's the anti-hero. It's him there with his Glock, his gun. I'm not going to pan out and show you the whole thing because I don't feel like it. And then there's a much more artistic, demonic picture of Tommy. There's his tentacles. All right, so cool. So a few extras for, you know, 12 bucks. Can't beat it. I can't complain. Alright, and here's the disc. Darkness 2. Again, Tommy at his throne. There's his Glock. And the tentacles. And there's the back of the box. Master your demons. Alright. Now, Assassin's Creed Revelations. This has exclusive PS3 content. You actually get to play the first Assassin's Creed. Um, I did play the first Assassin's Creed. I didn't really like it that much, to tell you the truth. I thought it was very boring and repetitive. And since then, I actually haven't played an Assassin's Creed game. Now, 
in between that, you've had Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, you've had Assassin's Creed 2, and you've had Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Now, my brother Choi's a big fan. He knows a lot more about this than I do. Um, this version on PS3 also is 3D compatible. That's exclusive to the PS3 too as well, the 3D capabilities. Has a online passcode, boo, hiss, like most games do now. And it has enhanced multiplayer. I think that this is the first version really where they've had a significant multiplayer mode. So, let's open up Assassin's Creed Revelations. Operation. Alright, I'm just going to open this off camera for a second, just because in case the code is right on top, like they love to do. And yes, the passport is on top. There it is, the Uplay. This is your access to multiplayer and any other online modes. Five new maps, four classic maps, ten challenging multiplayer modes, sixteen customizable multiplayer characters, yada yada yada. And this booklet is definitely not color except for the back page which is an advertisement for some 3D glasses by Triovis. And not much of an instruction booklet either. It's more for technical support and whatnot. You must get all your gameplay instructions on or within the video game. Alright, and here's the disc. And there you go. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not even sure who these characters are. Ruzio, Izio, I don't know. I'm not an Assassin's Creed fan, but for $10 for a brand new game, I'll definitely check it out. I'll give it a shot again. Alright guys, this has been Philly Cuts. With two for one unboxings for Onu Retro Gaming Cuts. Can't beat the deals I got today. Thanks for watching and demand more out of your gaming. Do it! $60 is too much to pay for most titles. For most. Not all, but for most. And I'm happy I got these for such bargain prices. And you still have time to get this for a bargain price too as well. So... Take advantage, and game on, player. Peace.